Blood pressure regulation. How our body compensate the sudden elevation of blood pressure. Increased blood pressure will stretch the baroreceptors located in the aortic and carotid sinuses. The baroreceptors in turn will stimulate the cardio-inhibitory center in the medulla obligate, which will enhance the parasympathetic activities through vagus nerve. This results in decreased heart rate or bradycardia. Stretching the baroreceptors also suppress the vasomotor center in medulla oblongata and the sympathetic stimulation of the blood vessels, which results in vasodilation. Additionally, increased blood pressure will increase the cardiac output. and atrial natriuretic peptide hormones. Both suppress the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAAS. This suppression results in increased water and sodium excretion by the kidney, which leads to decreased blood volume. Additionally, Suppression of angiotensin II results in vasodilation. All these autoregulatory mechanisms results in returning of blood pressure to normal levels. Now we will study the autoregulatory mechanism in case of hypotension. If the blood pressure decreases the baroreceptors stretching will be decreased. Consequently, the shrunk baroreceptors will stimulate the cardiac accelerator center in medulla oblongata, which will stimulate the sympathetic output, which increases the heart rate. Decreased stretching in the baroreceptors will also enhance the sympathetic stimulation to peripheral blood vessels to induce vasoconstriction. Thus, blood pressure will be elevated to near normal levels. Additionally, decreased cardiac output will suppress the atrial natriuretic hormone. Both factors lead to stimulation of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. And less water and sodium will be excreted into the urine. Thus, blood volume will be increased. Additionally, angiotensin II induce peripheral vasoconstriction. These autoregulatory mechanisms will result in returning of blood pressure to normal levels.